Hey everyone, I'm so excited you're joining for a new What's That Sound video. In fact, this is video number one. In this series, I'm going over chord progressions or chord changes that you might have heard in popular songs that are kind of tricky to figure out on your own. Today we're going over the 4, 4 minor, 1 chord progression. If you're confused by what those numbers mean, be sure to watch an earlier video I've shared called The Natural Number System Basics. This first one is one of the most popular and cool sounding non-diatonic chord progressions. It gets its cool sound from the fact that it has a 4 chord followed by a non-diatonic 4 minor chord. This progression and these chord changes are really useful for conveying more melancholy moods. You often hear it at the end of song sections, like the end of a verse or the end of a chorus, rather than in the main chord loop of a song section. Many of these songs will have different chords because they're in different keys, but they will all share the 4, 4 minor 1 progression. First step is Wake Me Up When September Ends by Green Day. Its usage of the 4, 4 minor 1 chord progression is pretty common and sounds great. Let's hear it. Next up, we have the intro and chorus chord progression from Death Cab for Cutie's I Will Follow You Into the Dark. Next up, we have the Beatles classic, In My Life. As a bonus, here's a song by Radiohead that uses a 1, 4 minor 1 chord progression compared to a 4, 4 minor 1 chord progression. It still uses a 4 minor followed by a 1, but the 4 minor isn't preceded by a diatonic 4 chord, and it makes the 4 minor stand out a bit more and sound a little more mysterious. Here's a chord chart of 4, 4 minor 1 in all keys. I'm also sharing a link in my bio for access to all these charts. Thanks so much for checking this video out. I want you to try this progression and see if you could write something cool for yourself using it. Alright, have fun!